Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to go over the topic of Squarespace 7.0 or 7.1. I'm going to give you some overview, a little bit of basics to understand what the differences are. And I'm also going to give you my practical advice. We're looking at hundreds of, if not thousands of Squarespace websites and working on hundreds of Squarespace websites. I can tell you very clearly, this is what I've seen and this is what I've learned with a bit of guidance for your particular business organization, portfolio, design website, whatever it may be. Right before we begin, I do wanna say, if this is your first video and you get value from this video, please hit that like button. It tells me, it tells the YouTube algorithm some stuff, but it tells me that you got value from this video. If you've been around for a while and you like the content, please hit the subscribe button. We have video coming out every single Tuesday and Friday of the week. So please hit the subscribe button and you'll be updated anytime we drop new content. All right, let's begin. So first and foremost, I wanna take you into this new world here of 7.0 and 7.1. 7.1 is the newest, you could say, platform that you can build your site on within Squarespace. So Squarespace used to run on older systems that are completely obsolete and dated. They moved to 7.1 like a year and a half ago, early, I think 2019 or something like that. I honestly forgot off the top of my head. It might be said right here or something. So they, they moved to 7.1 in 2020, early 2020. Now you're gonna see, these are all the different templates for 7.1. And you'll see it says blog and store and all this stuff. This is a little bit of a gimmick and not in a bad way, but I do wanna point this out is that in 7.1, anything you start with is gonna operate and have all the same capabilities as anything else. So if you start with Clarkson, or you start with Crosby, or you start with Null or Vance or any of these, they're gonna all have the same exact features and capabilities. Basically what they're selling you on here is a way, it's more marketing, but it's a way for you to see different looks and feels. And hey, if you see one of these and you're like, ah, that's exactly how I want my website to look, well, you have a bit of demo content that you can work with to begin with. Now for 7.0 websites, the previous version, I could say it that way as well, but for the previous version, there are different template bases. And so if you scroll to the bottom of this page, now right now I'm on the Squarespace website, and then if you click on templates, from there, at the very bottom of the page, you could get to older templates. So you'll see looking for older templates, you can click here, and this is all the 7.0. Now these templates operate completely differently. These templates do have different foundational basis. So what you get in a Wells template look and feel could be different than say a York template versus let's say Ready or Bedford, which was one of their top favorites in this world of the 7.0 sites. Now with that, we got a bit of a lingo down and I'm actually gonna cut ahead in the video here and just say this out right now. I'll say it again at the end, but I'll say it now. 90% of clients, if not more, 95% of clients should just go to 7.1, pick whatever template you want and begin. That is the rundown of this video. Truly, truly, that's all you need to begin. It will have all the capabilities and features and I'm gonna show you one capability if you're a photographer, how to get around it if you're struggling with it, specifically around galleries, but all the features you're gonna want are gonna be in 7.1. Now, here are the few caveats. These are the caveats off the top of my head and looking at this list here on the Squarespace website, what you need to keep in mind. Squarespace 7.1, the current version, the newer version, does not offer a developer mode. If you don't know what developer mode is or are not looking for a highly custom website, you don't even have to worry about it. Developer mode allows you to re-engineer the entire foundation of the template to your choosing. It's an amazing feature, but it's also very much next level. If you're building out your site for the first time or you don't know code or any of that, working on a developer mode side is not gonna happen. You don't need to worry about it. And if you are building a very custom website, respect to Squarespace, but I would tell you go to Webflow or go to a different platform completely. Write it in your own code. Don't go into Squarespace. That's it. 
for the CMS, I've never really seen it worth it. I've seen people build sites in developer mode and they're basically left stuck and stranded because they can never update the site. It's way too confusing. And then when they pass it to a developer, it doesn't really work out well. Okay, the other thing to consider is that site styles is way more advanced and developed in 7.1 versus 7.0. What do I mean? So for the moment, I'm gonna start a website in Squarespace 7.1 so you can see what I'm talking about. So start with this. I'm gonna start with this template here. So the first thing is it's gonna ask you to set up a name. So I'm gonna say this, cool. Okay, we could skip through all this. All right, so now I'm here on the website. With site styles, this is so nice, okay. First and foremost, you could click on design and then you could hit site styles. Oh, and this is a new setup here. This They literally released this last week. Okay, so this is the cool part. It's tricky and if, if you're coming from 7.0 and you know 7.0, this is gonna look a little funky at first, but once you get into it, it's really comfortable. So this feature here with colors is one of the most amazing things and it looks like they're developing it further and further which is you can use a lot of different variations for backgrounds right now they're using primarily yellow on this whole page but you could set you'll see it says bright two here you could set all these different backgrounds so if i go into the editor here and then i click on this little pencil squarespace 7.0 does not do this at all i could easily adjust the site styles within seconds. And if I need to customize it further, I can, but you'll see there are a lot of options in here that you could easily customize and make beautiful for your website. So this is a feature in 7.1 that allows you to radically shift the structure of your website. So in 7.0, if you have sections, they all basically have to be the same height minimum. So you can make them taller, but you can't really develop it further. So here you can see section height, small, another section could be large, then you could have the actual content be small before you had to use spacers to do this. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just saying it's much easier in 7.1 to do all of these things. Now, one of the big hiccups that a lot of people get really confused about with Squarespace 7.1 and if they should use the template, if they should use that as their template is going to be galleries. Galleries are a huge thing that are lacking in Squarespace 7.1, but there is a workaround that's actually quite easy and it's a bit expensive, but it's affordable if you really want it. Okay, so you say you're in 7.1 and you wanna set up a gallery. Let me show you what you can do. First of all, you go into the editor, I just double click, you could click add section, and then here you could add a gallery, all right? So it gives you a few options. Truly, it doesn't matter which one you start with because you could adjust it later, but I just wanna show you how this works. Now this yellow background with these images, these specific images isn't working for me. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go dark for a moment, okay. Gallery, here are your options for gallery. The one issue is there were a lot of flexibility. There was a lot of flexibility with the previous gallery and the structure of it. And so to have it this way, uh, in some ways limits the capabilities of what you have because now it has to be a whole page. You can't put it onto a page with other section. And again, there are a couple workarounds that are built in, but as you're taking a look at this, you could adjust sizes and the different grids and all this like slideshow and whatever. But let's say you want to do a social proof bar of logos that you've worked with, brands you've worked with. Well, the way it looks in here, this like grid style is actually not like the prettiest. It doesn't come out to be the prettiest. Like, okay, six on top. And then what's happening? There's only four images. so. It's looking a little funny. And then you want to have like other ones below it. And maybe you want to stack three below it in the center. You can't really do that built in. It gets a little bit too complicated. Another thing you might want to do is set up a gallery. And this is probably like so specific for me, but there used to be a section called galleries in 7.0 that's not here. Here's the workaround. Again, it's a little bit pricey, but if you're a photographer or you have a portfolio that you want to display a certain way or anything like that, these things can be very, helpful. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to a website called Square Websites. You can Google this and type Square Websites plugin or extension, something like that. 
go to the Chrome extension and you could probably email them, but I have the Square Tools extension Pro. I think they have a, a light version as well, but with the pro version, this is all you do. So basically I'm on my site. This is the extension here. So I click on this, I hit enable UI tweaks. And basically from there, it gives you a couple features. You'll see this, which is kind of cool. So it gives you a couple additional features here. But once you click into the page, you click the plus sign. Guess what just showed up? You got slideshow, you got carousel, you got grid, you got stack. There's just a whole bunch of options that you now have. And it's so funny because I think I just described a moment where you would stack four logos on top and three below center. You actually can't do that here. I was thinking about something totally different. You can't do it here, but this gives you way more control over how you structure galleries, how links work on galleries, how, how text works on the image within galleries. These are very limited, at least with what Squarespace has as of today. They're very limited. And so this small feature gives you really a great bit of power. Now, this isn't an affiliate link or anything, but this tool here, I think it's about 200 bucks. So it is a bit pricey. But again, if you're building your own site, which I, I love seeing people build their own sites, 200 bucks, or if you just hire a developer to help you set that up initially, pay them per hour to get it set up, that would be wonderful. Because once it's on your site, it's there. Okay, cool. So that's that. So Square websites, that's the main thing to consider. The only reason I would build on 7.0, I don't even know why I would build on 7.0. Yeah, because you'll see here, the differences are minor. Come on, blocks, same, except doesn't support gallery blocks. So we just went over that. Album pages, not in 7.1. For audio, it's a little bit different. Commerce, same. Blog, all the events are same. You could add additional sections to any page, which is cool. This is a bigger feature. Cover pages are not in 7.1, truly doesn't matter. They should not matter too much, I'll say it that way. Developer platform, not supported, we covered this. Gallery pages, let me see, is there anything else? This is a big one. Okay, actually I didn't mention this, but this is worth mentioning. In 7.0, they have this thing called an index where you build an index out and then you basically put like two to 12 pages underneath one index. Well, now you don't necessarily have the separation. When you create a page, you just create additional sections in that page so they're not separated. And it actually organizes the back end a lot. It organizes the SEO even more. And all of the actual structure of the site is easier to work with in those terms. I prefer it. At first, I thought it was a little weird, but I do prefer it. The final caveat here, templates and template switching is not supported. So you cannot go from 7.0 to 7.1. And as you can see here, all the sites share all the same features and options. So you aren't limited by choosing a template, which is just a huge factor. It's actually a bit of freedom there, right? So when you, whatever you start with, it's not gonna limit you if you like a feature in another one. If, if they show it, you can have it. So I think you get my point. My overall recommendation is for everyone to build their site on 7.1. This is another key reason of why I recommend it. Truly in the future, Squarespace isn't gonna continue to invest in 7.0. So if you're on 7.0 and you're considering moving, I would really say look into it because over time, they're gonna support it less and less and less. It's not a matter of them just dropping it one day. They don't really operate that way. That's more of a, a Google process. But for Squarespace, they will get to a point one day where they say, this is basically as far as it's gonna go. And they're gonna pour more of their energy into 7.1 or whatever's next after 7.1. So that is a rundown. I highly recommend for everyone to go to 7.1. If you need to build on developer mode, I recommend going to Webflow. Don't even touch Squarespace. And if you're considering any other reason, please leave a comment below and maybe I could help you sort through that, which it could also be helpful for other people. There are a lot of use cases, but if you're a small business, if you're a photographer, especially with that gallery plugin, if you're a you're showing off your portfolio, you want to do a blog on Squarespace, Squarespace, truly 7.1 is where you want to be. You're starting an e-commerce store, 7.1 is where you want to be. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I so appreciate it. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as we continue to post new updates and new videos each and every week. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.